Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of the Binding of Isaac. We're gonna uh, play as Isaac here. We had a run last time. How did it go? It went really well, actually. I believe we were playing as Blue Baby. And we got the items that you need as Blue Baby to succeed, which in our case was actually not like Relic, Miter, and all that kind of uh, assortment of defensive items. For us, it actually ended up being uh, Polyphemus, and there was another really important item in there, but in any case, doesn't really matter, does it? All that matters is that it worked out fantastically. We won as Blue Baby, which is always very satisfying, even though I understand that Blue Baby has a reputation now for being maybe one of the easier characters to win as because of the permanent Polaroid invincibility thing. I disagree with that. I still think Blue Baby is uh, l more difficult to win as uh, than probably Isaac, Kane, or maybe Maggie. Might be on the same level as Judas. I really don't like this item, so I'm going to re-roll it. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen, but that's okay. Like, I really just didn't want a shot speed upgrade. Uh, not that a shot speed upgrade is necessarily bad, but I thought, you know, we'd re-roll it, maybe get another passive, and then I could uh, not have to re-roll what's on the boss room, because the boss room is likely to be better to begin with. But it looks like we're not going to be able to re-roll that, so I just I missed out on an item. But it's not my, really my fault for re-rolling it, I think it's more the game's fault for giving me a shitty item that I didn't want in the first place. All we missed out on is effectively an HP upgrade, sorry, a speed upgrade and a shot speed upgrade. But I'm always wary, because it looks like spider bite to some extent, so I'm like, oh, is that actually like a shot slow? Like, does that slow the enemy when it lands? And the answer to that question is no, because obviously that would make it far too good. But in any case, you know, one missed item room is not the end of the world. Many missed item rooms is not even the end of the world, as we saw on yesterday's run. If you did see yesterday's run. Come on. You know you want to come down this area here. Oh, I'm kind of getting locked in here. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I'm not competing for a deal with the devil here, though, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, floor one is basically just a floor full of freebies. It's really floor two where things start to get... You know, the, the, the run starts to take shape, typically, on floor two, once you can figure out if you're getting deals with the devil. So, a few more shots should be able to finish this up. Uh, Larry Jr. is... I mean, he's not the most difficult boss, but he is one of the more... Uh, the, one of the bosses I most consistently take damage against, I think. It's not... It's just because he's difficult to dodge. It's not like he's difficult to beat. He's just, uh, kind of annoying. Okay, so we got Super Bandage, which is basically one HP. That's fine. That's, that's actually pretty good. Especially, it's like 1 HP combined with the extra effect of Squeezy, but anyway, not the tear effect, but the, the spirit hearts. Hopefully we can pick up something a little bit better on this floor. I said the first floor is a floor full of freebies, which might have sounded like a backhanded... You know what, I'm going to sacrifice the spirit heart right away to go to the curse room because I have a reroll available. Um, might have sounded like a backhanded compliment. Didn't really mean it like that. Oh man, the shop is actually completely viable for us thanks to one of the most lucrative secret rooms I have found in a long time. Oh, should have put the bomb over here just in case that was an item room or a shop. Please tell me I'm not a total idiot. Okay, that was the shop. I'm a total idiot. Well, we need keys now. Or two bombs. It's fairly unlikely we'll get either, unfortunately, but let's see if maybe I get lucky. But um, yeah, to finish that train of thought, uh, yeah, the first floor is a, a floor full of freebies. The second floor is where things start to get real and where you can maybe get some better items on a deal with the devil. But it, additionally, you know, things stop being free and start cost, costing a, a buck oh five. If I could actually get some keys. Uh, you know, if Isaac ever did in-app purchases and they was like, pay 50 cents to actually get a key. I want to think that I wouldn't be a whale, but I probably would be. It's a really big shame that we used our only bomb in the worst possible situation because if I had saved that bomb and just walked out, could have traded it for a key there and got into the shop, or I could have just directly bombed my way in. But now we only need one bomb to at least go to the shop. Uh, and if we want to go to the item room on top of that, we'll need another, uh, well, we'll need another two bombs on top of that, I guess? So that'll uh, give us access to, access to the shop. Um, Sorry for seeming a little bit disjointed right now. It's just, I normally at this point, what do you use to open doors? Keys. You use a key to open the door. It's very simple. I am going to go fight the boss before I worry about doing anything with this uh, bomb and key type situation. But when we do use bombs, or when we do uh, figure out where we're going to use that key, because we're totally going to use a bomb to, to get a key, uh, or to get the key, because it's the only one available right now. Um, 
We're absolutely gonna use it for the shop because we have 24 cents. We came into this floor with like four, uh, but now we have 24. And uh, the shop exclusively is going to contain not mini bosses, which is important for me. You know, they make some great video game covers. Uh, I can't move, so that was kind of shitty. Uh, I got trapped in the corner there. Why is my damage so bad right now? I, I'm feeling like pretty unprepared. It, like Pink Widow is apparently like the, the highest HP version. I thought it was the lowest HP version. Okay, well, that didn't go very well for me, let's be honest. Uh, you know what? For Oh my god. For one bomb, I actually could get my way into the secret room now that I think about it again. That was terrible and I deserve to only get an HP upgrade. Like, I don't have to use a bomb for a key. I could trade HP and walk in through the secret room, but it, it turns out that that doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. Because we don't have uh, another bomb drop anywhere. I thought maybe we'd get a crate after the boss or something like that, so... We're gonna end up skipping item rooms. I don't think I've ever had a, a run of form in Isaac where I have skipped more than I am right now. Um, like, the last four or five videos, I've skipped so many item rooms and so many shops. But that's okay. I am going to check and see if we can find the second secret room in addition to getting the key. Got to play a little bit smarter. And we do have a reroll available in case there's a, a just a dog shit item in there. So let's uh, let's see what we're going to get here. It's Book of Revelations. It's not even worth picking up because we could save our money instead. But we'll try a reroll and we'll definitely take the nun's habit. And then we don't have anything that we really want to reroll after that. Now I'm going to take a second here. I'm going to put on my sweet NLSS overlay. Ignore that for a second. I feel like I might be a little bit loud. Might be clipping a little bit. So I'm just going to pull it down ever so slightly. And hopefully, yeah, it seems a little bit more reasonable. Okay. Again, that's the uh, the benefit of recording this stuff in XSplit. I have the power to do that. So it's hard to feel bad about a floor when we got uh, Nun's Habit and an HP upgrade. It actually is really, really nice that we managed to make that happen. However, yeah, I mean, we were kind of playing in ideally we could have definitely gone to the item room the item room might have contained a shitty item but it might have contained a great item you never know curse of the labyrinth uh scares me a great deal so we need three keys if we want to actually access all of the rooms of importance on this floor and that's assuming there's no library and that's without being able to open golden chests that's just bare minimum being able to open stuff up but uh we are on an excel floor i believe that behaves like a, a, I, I this is gonna sound like a stupid sentence i believe it behaves like a combination between a uh, like a floor one and a floor two the reason i say that and i'm not just saying like yeah okay it's doubled obviously it's a combination no uh, but i believe that it means that we also have the opportunity to get a uh, an arcade because we're over five cents but we'll see first things first we got to kill this guy any second now, uh, he dropped a penny. I don't know why I just knew what consumable was going to drop there. Okay, so one bomb. Now again gives us access. Probably should not have triggered all of those to open at the same time. Uh, one bomb gives us access. Hollywood, starring Mark McGrath. No, he's on Entertainment Tonight. My mistake. Now, just worry about the aggro a little bit more here. And this is an easy room. But yeah, one bomb will give us uh, access to the shop or an item room. As of right now, we'd probably use it on an item room if we find one. But I would love to get enough money to go to the shop as well. We've already taken uh, one of the best items out of the pool, so there's more items to go, I guess, is how I'm going to think positively about it. I guess taking a great item out of the pool means that the pool is effectively a little bit shittier, but that doesn't mean that it's missing uh, any gr number of great items, except for the, the Nun's Habit, which we already have. So, obviously, Map Compass 9-volt battery would be very useful for us. But consumables continue to be fairly hard to come by, with the exception of money. Envy is going to be a pain in the dick, because my damage is still quite poor. Uh, the only thing we've really gotten to upgrade our damage is, I don't know, 770 episodes. That will hopefully allow me to be a little bit better with my aim and dodging, and get out of this without taking uh, too much... There are too many hits uh, to my own person here, but let's just keep this up. It's possible we might get shoop to whoop which at this point would probably be the ideal payout for the room because it gives us a reroll pedestal and I might not get many other opportunities to use a reroll pedestal or to have a reroll pedestal so any items that I have the chance to get are pretty meaningful to me. Could also get attack fly which would be a reroll pedestal that I would not reroll because I think attack fly is pretty good. People, uh, people disagree with me on that one to some extent. Some people at least. I'm not trying to pay myself out like some kind of like, I'm a super ahead of my time with my feelings on attack fly. I'm just saying that uh, a lot of people are like, you should really reroll attack fly. And I'm like, nah, man. Attack fly is my buddy. If you if you plan accordingly, he can do a ton of damage to a boss. Largely 
also putting you very much in danger as well. But still, you re-roll that and it becomes like, what? Uh, your grocery list or something. It's boring. I like attack fly. So, we win. It, it only took uh, four or five minutes and we got a live bomb out of that. So that was definitely worth it and I don't uh, resent the game for making me go there. Still can't get that key. Two bombs would also give us a chance to get into the shop uh, without having to spend a key, but we have zero bombs right now, so... Uh, and zero keys, so let's not get too far ahead of ourselves before we, we know what's coming, basically. Yep, uh, that was bad dodging, but also bad planning. That's the biggest part there. If you fail to plan, that's a plan to fail. And uh, we, we plan to fail there. Let's get these guys to pop up. I don't know why they, they're taking more hits than the than the turrets on the last floor did. It's ridiculous. There were no turrets on the last floor, but it's ridiculous. You understand? You understand my incoherent rambling. Of course, this is the uh, the scary room, but also if I just never move, they won't hit me. If I never move, you can't see me. It's a little scary. Now I can move, pop out of the shadows, and, and finish the dirty work, but. Uh, that was a little scary, but also a very important uh, tip to learn. It took me about 700 videos to learn that if you don't move when you first come into that room, you won't take damage. But that's pretty much the only way, unless you have really high damage or the ability to fly, that you go into that room and leave without taking damage. So, uh, there's a, maybe, a, at least if this video goes terribly wrong, you can learn something. Still, no bombs, no keys. I don't know, like, seriously, I feel like Spider is like adding something into the game or like tweaking the engine just a little bit clandestinely it, as viral marketing for rebirth what what purpose does the viral marketing serve i don't know what message are they trying to send i don't know but maybe they're just trying to make isaac a little bit more tedious to play because no consumables drop so people are going to be like fuck this i'm going to go buy rebirth think about it limp biscuit style uh, yeah, can I have the, um, I'll take the double cheeseburger, but can I get it Limp Biscuit style? Uh, a Limp Biscuit style cheeseburger, if you eat it Limp Biscuit style and it's served Limp Biscuit style, means that, uh, you have to eat it with your shirt off on the couch watching probably Celebrity Deathmatch, the MTV show from the late 90s, early 2000s, that would be my guess. Or, like, you you got to eat a cheeseburger with your shirt off while telling people, like, yeah, dude, The Matrix 2 is pretty good. I don't know why those things scream Limp Biscuit to me, but, uh, you know, that's, what can I say? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a child of that era, so I think I'm just in tune with them. It's like kindred spirits. Basically like a Fred Durst conjoined twin. Basically, not, not legally speaking, because I don't want to get sued. Alright, there's a, the second consumable, I think, that we've gotten on this entire floor, and what was it? Oh, it was a wonderful, uh, thing, maybe you've heard of it, a, a useless fucking item of currency known as a penny? Yeah, we'll be able to use that to do absolutely nothing unless we get uh, a key of some sort, or I suppose we can melt down the penny if we find a foundry or a, a very hot furnace, and we could turn it into a key and perhaps open the shop. That would be wonderful, but I don't necessarily hold out a ton of hope that it can happen here. Uh, we'll definitely destroy human popcorn. We would love to go to the boss trap room, or I would love to go to the boss trap room. I don't give a shit how you feel about it. Now we have a bomb and we could get a key, but we actually haven't discovered any item rooms yet. So we're kind of damned if we do, damned if we don't to a small extent now. Or here. And I say that because, you know, you might think I'm making excuses to just like be lazy, but I really don't want to use our only key to go to the shop just because uh, I'm like, well, I need reroll. Well, I need to use my rerolls, otherwise they're useless. I wonder if we could bomb our way into the shop. That's the interesting. Uh, you know what? We're not going to do it yet. Having a third bomb would be really useful. So this is what, kind of what I was hoping for, this corridor here. I don't really mind that I took damage there. Now, uh, because there is a, an item room here, that's useful. But the biggest thing that we have here is the arcade. And the arcade gives us an enormous benefit. The moon takes us directly to the secret room. So just give me a second here. And, uh, you know, watch how this goes. Because I want to get to 15 cents before I go to the, the shop. And the shop could quite easily border the secret room. So, um... I'm not going to pick up that heart yet. We're going to take the moon card. This is not where I wanted to go. Do I really want to fight my way out of this? The answer to that question is no. I want to just walk out of this. So that's a waste of a bomb. But now we have enough money to gamble for keys as well. This is a floor that I imagine is probably going to take quite a long time. We got an HP upgrade. That's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for there. But can I stress that, you know, by the end of this floor, if we're still alive, which we show, man, which we should be, even though, uh, 
this fight against Monstro is not necessarily going fantastically. Just be smart about this. Don't get hit by any more of the, the shots. I, I always forget that some of those shots do one fucking damage. For an early game boss, that's so nonsense. But whatever. Uh, when, when Monstro dies and I get out of this room, I need to get a damage upgrade at some point, man. 6 HP by the technically 3rd and 4th floor is fine. Don't get me wrong, that's a nice position to be in if we ever get a deal with the devil. Sorry, I almost made myself laugh there. Uh, but if we do ever get a deal with the devil, um, we'll be able to, to turn our health into damage, and that's really one of the biggest ways to kind of pivot into a, a damage-focused run as opposed to a run that is just a slow descent into death. But we need to make it happen first before, uh, before it happens. I don't really know where I'm going with that. But anyway, um, I do want to go to the shop as well. We have rerolls available, so I guess we might as well go to the shop first. But I'll pick up the red heart that's in the, sh in the arcade first. And the reason behind that is because I don't want to die. Now, this guy could easily come down and just, like, destroy me. But he didn't. And uh, this should be the end of this fight, then. A couple more hits. Yeah, one more hit, actually. Good! And we didn't get any more consumables for finishing, because, let's be honest, we uh, had already done our part. You know, now that I look at it, I realize that that could be the uh, item room just directly above where we were earlier. I'm gonna gamble to try to win some keys, maybe, and use them on the item room as well. I don't know. Wow, that was fast. Uh, fortune Teller blew up in one play. Actually ended up turning a profit on it, I guess, which is fine, but... Seriously. Okay, bombs are cool, too. Like, I'll, I'll take them. We can get another key by... Or if we get a... Uh, or we can get a single key if we get a bomb. Or we can, No, wait. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Disregard. I forgot that I didn't have any keys. I, I For some reason, when I picked up that bomb, I just internalized that I had a key, which is silly. So, there's one key used uh, for Celtic Cross. I'm thinking about this, because I want to go back to the shop first. And we'll see if the shop warrants a reroll, because Celtic Cross is something we could pick up. I wouldn't be thrilled about it, but we could pick it up. Uh, on the other hand, I would much rather, uh, if possible, not. <laughs> and get something that's a little bit more like offensively good for me. It's my feelings on the matter at least. Uh, inside of our shop we find Blue Candle. Which I think is a better reroll for us. Even though Blue Candle is also a great item. And we need damage but I'd rather stick with the uh, Nun's Habit D6. Because we're still fairly early. So I'm just going to reroll that. We get a 7 cent compass instead which is very nice. And a little extra HP which we can bare minimum play for some... Uh, some tries at uh, getting the... Uh, this is not going to be the second secret room, but we could use this key. Um, but we could use for some tries at getting the uh, blood bag, which would, again, help us out. It would be nice to get the speed upgrade and the HP upgrade, of course, but... Man, if I could just get, like, something that makes me fire faster or a little bit stronger, then... I would feel way better about the way that this run is going, because as of right now, it's real silly. And yes, I mean, with Celtic Cross, we do have that blood bank right next to it. We could use that as a, a reroll generator, as I so like to say, but, um... I don't know. We, we need to worry more about our HP, but we'll probably end up gambling quite prodigiously on that room, if I had to guess. Now, that's good. I do want to pick up all the money, just because you never know. We're, we're scraping by right now. That went very well. Inside of our item room, we find uh, Yum Heart, which is, you know, if you're going to have a bad active item, this is the one to get because it does give us a, an extra red heart we can gamble away. See, that's the one you don't want right there is poop. And again, Celtic Cross uh, takes kind of like an upper spot in our uh, priority list now. Now, is there a chance to generate a reroll over here? It is a theoretical possibility. Again, this is going to be kind of maybe a tedious way of handling this room, but if I just don't move, they don't know that I'm here. So by doing this, I can at the very least m uh, minimize my risk by wounding or killing a couple of them or a few of them before I get involved. They forced me into moving there. Why did no one... That, well, actually, you know what? Probably dozens of people told me about this mechanic earlier, but I didn't realize that the silkworms, like, look by... Uh, or they, they see, I should say, by... Not echolocation, but, like, movement. By, by tracking movement. That's kind of cool. So, if I take damage here, then we'll have a, uh, a reroll available to us that we can use on the poop right away, not have to backtrack. That makes it tempting to deliberately take damage, but I'm not going to do that. Let's see what the pill is. Range up. Okay, that's... it is what it is, isn't it? I think we should just clear a path to this boss room. Allow me to take a sip of my water here, because we're... The, you know, the run's going on here. It's going to be a long floor. 
It's already been a long floor, but um, it's going to continue to be a long floor. Please tell me that we get an HP, not an HP upgrade. Oh god, have I damned myself to, to purgatory again? No, please tell me that we get um, uh, a damage upgrade of any kind. Or a tiers upgrade. Anything that improves our DPS. Or like a, a seriously amazing tier effect. That would be cool too. But I need not HP at this point. I really need to stack up some actual hurting power. We don't have it right now. But we do have our keys. Let's go back to our uh, item room on the other side of the map and uh, get ready to use one of these rerolls. I think I should just use the blood bank and walk into the uh, the boss fights with rerolls available or with them on deck, basically. It's more important to be able to de reroll a deal with the devil than a, a shitty item room most of the time. Yeah, we'll take PhD. Uh, better pills is awesome. It actually, like, this isn't a compromise, really. PhD is pretty good. And we also get the extra red hearts that we can use to gamble away. It, it is what it is, and it's fine, I would say. Remember, of course, we can leave the boss fights after we finish them, so hopefully we can manage to swing this. I might end up rerolling Celtic Cross. It depends how much HP is left for us on this floor, because then we can gamble it on the Blood Bank and, and try to swing it. But, uh, shouldn't have moved. All things considered, I probably shouldn't take any damage on this room anyway, but uh, I could have avoided a little bit of heartache just by not moving. That's okay. Not heartache. Headache, basically. L vo avoided a little headache by not moving. Now, let's see what this tarot card is. Could be extremely important. Even if I have to save it for the late game, I'm fine with that. It's the Fool, which, uh, it ends up being a card that we would probably save... I was so bad. A card that we would probably save to get out of the, um... Mom fight? I am taking so much dumb damage here, it's actually really, really frustrating. Uh, yeah, get out of the mom fight, possibly earn a deal with the devil, or maybe get out of a curse room and possibly save losing a little bit of health. Hard to say. Uh, we'll take it situationally. We don't even have curse rooms, because that would actually give us a chance to get a, a high damage item for only a little bit of, of sacrifice to ourselves, so the game obviously thinks that that's not really fair, so we're not going to get any of those on this run. Let's see what we get. Uh, Gertie. So Gertie with one bomb is a, uh, a tedious fight. Don't get me wrong. We are, we have, like, I was looking for other contingencies. I was like, we'll have our Cuba meat walk into Gertie. Nope. We'll, uh, use our attack fly to hit Gertie. Nope. We'll use bombs to hit Gertie. Nope. Um, instead, we are just going to really, really laboriously wear Gertie down here. And this is where I realized that, you know, let's players need, like, a helmet, and you can put, like, a, a beverage in it. I'm trying to drink this water, but I, at the same time, I, I, this boss fight's easy and automatic. It's just long. And I need both hands for it. I, I can't just take one hand off of the, the steering wheel here, or the whole family will die. So, get ready for a, a long one here. Which is also, um, I've got that printed on, uh, tattooed right above my, uh, my genitals. It's not very tasteful, I'll admit. I was, uh, I was just a young 33-year-old when I got it. Now, let's keep this up. It's a good fight so far, I guess. I've only taken like three hits of damage against a boss that I've fought 200 times. Gertie's not difficult, it's just when you have low damage or, you know, low DPS. Because, you know, damage as an attribute is different from the damage that you actually do to some extent. Anyway, um, yeah, with low DPS it just takes 100 years, so you've got to be consistent and... Well, you get the picture. I really doubt that we are going to get a deal with the Angel. So we're going to have to make our own luck on this floor. Please, God, give me at least a tiers upgrade, Gertie. Or the ability to reroll something that's not very good. Because if it's an HP upgrade, <clears throat> pardon me, it's extreme. Oh my god, I just got overwhelmed there. It's extremely unlikely that I'm going to reroll an HP upgrade just because, you know, you never look a gift horse in the mouth. You, you need HP to survive. We can always trade that HP for more deals with the devil if we get a chance, which we won't, um, but we could theoretically. Uh, but if he gave me, like, a, a speed upgrade, then I could reroll it guilt-free into something that maybe is a little bit better, but whatever. Gertie's gonna die here. We got uh, stem cells, which I'll probably just pick up, but I don't know why I'm leaving it on the ground. Oh, and little Chad! I was deliberately delaying that to make sure that I got the name right. So, this is gonna give us little Chad. I mean, that's obvious. It's very, very shitty. I'm gonna use a bomb to, to kill little Chad. Not even kill, just do damage. Like, a third of his health. Oh, little Chad, little Chad. Are we really back at this point again in our lives? 
Little Chad is not the worst item you can get in the game, but it's frustrating because you don't need Little Chad to succeed. Whereas with a lot of, that was really nice, um, with a lot of um, boss fights, there are some things that you basically 100% need to succeed. I need health. I, well, I, I don't need health. But let's hypothetically say we were starting a run and Little Chad was our first boss fight. Why is it bad? Because we don't need, uh, like, a few consumable red hearts. They might be an asset, but what we need is HP, tears, and damage. If I get hit again, I'll actually die on this fight. So, fuck me, I guess. There we go. We got to a half-heart interval and got Little Chad. Wonderful. Isn't that, isn't that a magical day for us? I don't think we reroll Celtic Cross. I guess we just take it. Um... Actually, you know what? We're gonna spend some more time on this floor. I know that we've spent like 95% of this run so far in Caves XL. I'm sorry that I do bad damage, but uh, it's kind of the corner we've been painted into. At least we got the compass on this floor, and we got PhD, and we got many HP upgrades. Our HP is wonderful. So I think how I'm gonna swing this is um, we're just gonna gamble on this guy. Hopefully win some more red hearts. If we do, or eh, money's not very important. If we win more red hearts, more keys, more bombs, those are all useful, but red hearts in particular, um, we can justify gambling a little bit more and re-rolling the, uh, re-rolling Celtic Cross. Celtic Cross is not a bad item, I just don't think it's what we need right now, in my opinion. We're getting a lot of keys, this is solving some problems that we ran into a little bit earlier. Uh, could really use some red hearts or some spirit hearts. Spirit hearts would make me feel better about the situation as well. Oh my fucking god. I need to, like seriously, a rate of fire increase or a damage increase, or ideally both. It's taking us two hits to kill like those neutral, like base level flies who might actually have the lowest HP of anything in the game. So we're gonna play this until we get down to 15 cents. I think that gives us our first reroll. If we go down to the next floor with two and a half hearts, I can live with it. So Celtic Cross gets rerolled into Book of Sin, which is bad, but if it gives us a red heart or a spirit heart, eh, it gives us a key. You know what, all things considered, that's not that terrible. So that actually gives us two rerolls, because I, I rerolled it once, and then we'll play this guy twice, and then reroll it again. This also, of course, does give us the chance to... Wow, that was a lot of money for just a couple of uh, blood bank plays there. This also gives us the chance to get the blood bag, which would be awesome. Chocolate milk is the best item nobody takes. Let's make this work. I can't believe that I'm, I'm going this hard on one item, but we need to at this point, because... I don't know, if we end up on Necropolis, I find it hard to fathom that we would survive the next floor. Uh, that's a ton of money. I don't know why money's been dropping so crazy lately. The the rate of key drops has fallen to like fucking zero, even though we have eight right now. Key and keys and bombs have been very hard to come by recently. I I realize the irony, um, but uh, pennies and dimes and nickels are just nuts. Do the math, sheeple. Although seriously, don't, because in all honesty, oh great. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to one and a half. And do we reroll Fly Love or do we reroll Book of Sin? We reroll uh, Book of Sin, like so, and that becomes the Miter. We may end up dying on this run as a result of gambling a little bit too hard, but if we don't, the Miter end up basically saving our lives. So uh, we're gonna leave, and we picked up the compass, a bunch of HP, and the Miter on that floor. Ten keys. Yet somehow I still feel like we're, we're very much behind the eight ball because our damage and uh, tears are so bad. Not so bad, but, you know, default Isaac, which is, um, you know, I don't want to do a purist run here. If you could just hook me up with a single deal with the devil, we could make it work. If you gave us the mark, if we got the pact, obviously Brimstone, Mom's Knife, Common Cold, so many items here would would make my life so much easier. Uh, this This room is probably going to end me. I'm, I'm trying to stay focused. I don't even have any bombs that I could use to like cheese my way out of it. I'm pretty sure that this is the end of this run, and I'm so pissed about it. I might not sound it, but I assure you I am a little incensed. I don't want to be the guy who, who ends his run on Necropolis XL with 7 HP. Yep, that's it. God damn it. Well, I tried at least. It looks like we got killed by Planet Earth or a peach or something like that. That was a terrible run, I apologize for that, but um, so be it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it in spite of my ineptitude, and of course, if you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Uh, I'll be back with, hopefully, a 60-minute run tomorrow, but man, that was, uh, that was a slow grind.
It's weird because I'm doing like a postmortem now and I'm like, well, I don't know why my mouse pointer still looks like it's on the screen, but uh, if I didn't gamble enough to get the miter, I probably would have had enough HP to at least live through that room, but if I didn't gamble enough to get the miter, then would I have even been able to to have a chance of winning long term? I guess I would have, but I don't know. It's a, it's a tough one. Bad luck of the draw, but uh, in any case, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and of course I will see you tomorrow.